Hey there, Stanford here. You played Close Your Eyes yet? Definitely should. Spoiler warning. Now, out of all uh, the creepy stuff in Close Your Eyes, like the host, Marshall Monk, and that giant subway with a mansion in it, there's Simon, just this regular stalker. Stalks Marshmallow. Why does he stalk Marshmallow? Monk? Why is he interested in some marshmallow thing? Possibly a marshmallow that killed eight people. If you're an average player of Close Your Eyes, all you know about Simon is he left notes for us. It is possible that he's re related to Hidden Hag, although I theorize that he is Hidden Hag. They both are literally the same thing. Hidden Hag just talks to the player through notes, and I don't know. And they're basically the same thing. They they don't know anything anything social, so they they treat Marshmallow Monk creepily. In the Q&A video that uh, your game looks did, they do explain that Simon doesn't know any better than to be creepy. Five. Who the flipping hell is Simon, and why is he so goddamn creepy? You know, some people mistake Simon and I as being one the same, but really, did it ever come off like I was flirting with you? Now, I don't think it's my place to say Simon really is, but I ought to say this. Why is he so goddamn creepy? Well, the reason, the simple reason is, maybe that's the only way he knows how to be. After all, he has got this really weird demon form with tentacles for fingers and red eyes. Marshall Monk has red eyes, but does that mean he's a mutated being? Or like got pale smile disease or something? Possibly. What other characters in this whole franchise have red eyes? Just Simon and Marshall Monk, that's all. Maybe we'll find out who this guy is soon, or get confirmation. Because in Close Your Eyes Anniversary Remake, the game hasn't even been fully released yet. There's new achievements. I have those achievements that are ending it. You got the classic, you're a winner, everyone die, the Reaper, do it. It's a surprise, silly machine, totally kind of ending, wrong way. I'm actually surprised till the kind of ending came back. And Always Together, which is a new ending and closed your eyes. All these eight endings, they're just, they're boring endings. The two new endings though, oh, mm, I don't know. They finally talk about Simon and they finally tell us what happens if we close your eyes in a game called Close Your Eyes. Now there's a theme going on with these last two achievements. You know how Simon once said he wants Marshmallow Monk to, o to open his eyes? <laughs> the Always Together achievement or ending 9 is basically the Open Your Eyes ending. And uh, the tenth ending is just closed your eyes. So the last thing is opening and closing your eyes. So some weird stuff is going to be going on. If you played through Close Your Eyes normally, you would have discovered him through uh, one of the endings. He will just appear and just look at the player creepily. After the saint appears, of course. No one, almost nothing is known about the saint. He just appears one time, and he's just like, ah, oh, religion, worship to the unholy, and stuff like that, and. It's extremely cryptic. I should be asking who the saint is, not who Simon is. But this video is about Simon. So we are going to talk about Simon. Now what else do we know about Simon? Don't go down random subways, kids. Almost nothing is mentioned about him. He only appears in Close Your Eyes, not the Feast Your Eyes demo, surprisingly. After all, the Feast Your Eyes demo is literally got like Simon on the front cover. So you'd expect it to be about Simon, but no. It's not about Simon, it's about these rainbow people. And there's some weird stuff in this game. Like those weird spider things that chase you. Apparently, those were meant to be the original antagonist of the game. They're meant to be called Raspberry Spider. Imagine if that was actually what the game was. No host, just no host. Just Raspberry Spider. How do you get, How? why does he look like how he does? Why has he got tentacles for hands? Why does Simon have an almost psychic-like ability to make people open their eyes? Because in one part of the game, he made a... Uh, he brought Marshmallow Monk back to the mansion by basically making Marshmallow Monk open his eyes. His or her eyes. Marshmallow Monk is transgender. And by opening their eyes, they could hear the door banging. He teleported them back to the, the beginning of the subway, which is extremely weird. This game has such surreal properties. We could go with the Close Your Eyes 2 block. The host owns Red Room. 
and he basically just threw these weird demon things in. They just found on the street. And Simon's one of the demon things. That would explain a lot. That would explain why there's a mansion in the middle of the subway. Two mansions, actually, in the middle of the subway. Do you know what I think about? The second mansion, the one in the hidden hag area, is probably Simon's home. Although hidden, in a way that makes no sense at all, there's a lighter in the subway, and Simon could have left that there for more than a moment. The conclusion, the safest conclusion I can make in this video, is that Simon is sans. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.